Hey guys, this is Seth from Steelsmith. Um, I'm comparing my brand new, or brand new to me, um, Ibanez JPM100 uh, P2 model. It's the second uh, incarnation of the paint scheme. They came out, it's sort of like a pet more pastel looking color, which I actually love, it's my favorite. Um, that's on the right, and of course, and then on the left is the, uh, the first incarnation of the uh, Ernie Ball Music Band drum percussion model, the JP6. So uh, when you kind of look at these guitars, kind of very superficially, I'll kind of do a little quick rundown. Um, they look very different, but they are in fact very alike. I'm going to talk about some, some differences I've noticed beyond the obvious. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so first let's take a look at the uh, Ibanez uh, JP100 since this came first. Um, it's basically we have the uh, Ibanez RG body shape, as you can see. And we have uh, the Dan Lawrence uh, hand painted graphic. I think it's great. There are four different um, color schemes available to the public. The JPM1, P1. This is the P2, the P3 is the black and white, the P4 is um, the what, camo? Uh, there's the whatever, anniversary model, which is a different, it's actually flamed um, maple cap or top on top of a mahogany body, but I digress. Um, we have the edge low profile bridge, which is uh, my favorite of the Ibanez bridges. Um, we have a Steve special in the uh, bridge pickup that comes from Steve Blucher. Um, we have Marzio Air Norton, and the funny thing about this is I'm not sure why this sh the uh, screw should be flipped over, to my knowledge. So I don't know what that's about. I have to check on my other Air Norton pickups. Um, we have one volume, one tone, and the kind of Petrucci. This is where he has the sort of a different location than the uh, regular Ibanez's, the, like the 550, etc. We have this uh, three-way switch. And we have the uh, neck pickup, bridge pickup, and then in the middle we have this sort of, I think it's the pickups in parallel, so it's sort of scoop thing, almost sounds out of phase to be honest. Um, so uh, let's see what else we have in the fretboard, 24 frets. Um, this uh, originally I think, was, I think the P1 has the Viper neck profile, which I was hoping this was, but I believe this is just... Um, a, I guess, the JPM profile, which is actually feels a lot like your standard wizard neck to me, which kind of sucks. Um, we have the locking uh, nut, and we have the coolest Ibanez headstock, in my opinion, with the big, humongous Ibanez uh, logo in gold, so very cool. Um, so that's this guitar, and I like this off offset dots, which I think they, re re they recreated in other uh, guitars, like the uh, I can't remember all the names. Um, I mean, his knowledge is not what it used to be. This looks radically different, and that's mostly just the body style, but we have a lot of similarities. We have the volume, tone, in the same, essentially the same place. We have uh, pickups that were uh, based off of, these are Damari Zoos, they're based off of the Steve Special and Aaron Norton. I don't know how much they're tweaked. Um, the Music Man Bridge is also floating, but vastly different, there's no fine tuners. Um, and let's see what else. So I got the same three-way. This is at an angle, I guess, to help with his hand. Um, same pickup, everything. We have a little cool truss rod adjuster right here, which is super convenient. I love this. Um, and if, you, if I zoom back, the body, it's a little smaller. But a little bit thicker. We have uh, this, kind of, this. This is the optional, just dot inlays. Um, they both have rosewood flat fretboards. Also, I should have mentioned that. And pretty cool, Mr. Dream finish, Music Man, Ernie Ball. Um, these are locking tuners as well, so that's the difference. There's no locking nuts. They opt for locking tuners, and there's a signature at the top. Um, as far as body woods are concerned, we're dealing with the same ones. JP6 uh, base wood body. Base with body in the uh, JPM 100 P2 rosewood fretboards, both. There's binding on this one, not on this one, and uh, we have maple necks on both. So uh, why don't we um, flip these over and check out the back? Okay, so now we're looking at the back. Let's check out the uh, let's check out the Petrucci uh, Ibanez Petrucci. 
Now this is a very cool, uh, this guitar is in incredibly good shape. We actually still have the, well partially we have the plastic on the control cavity covers. Um, now I do have the back plate but I took it off when I was changing the string setting it up. Um, we have a four bolt neck right here. Um, and uh, not a whole lot to say about the back obviously. And then on the neck, it's just a one piece uh, maple neck all the way up to the top. And go to non-locking tuners. There's the lock nut um, back of the lock right there. So really, I mean, to be honest, this is more just kind of like a souped up, uh, kind of customized RG um, model guitar. Um, so let's check out the Music Man. All right, pardon the stickers and the nonsense like that, but um, this the, the Music Man seems to be a little rounder in feel to it. Similar kind of uh, belly cutaway, maybe a little bit more exaggerated on the uh, JP6. Um, bigger control cavity. And so we have a five bolt neck joint. Um, both these have really nicely accessible, there's no heel on either one of these guitars at all, really. And you can't really see it, but the, the, the finish on this guitar is pretty amazing as well. Um, it's called Mystic Dream. It, it changes from kind of different hues of green, blue, and purple, and red. Um, so on the back of uh, this neck, as you can see, this is a uh, bird's eye maple neck, and it's very nicely figured. Very beautiful as we uh, look at it. Um, and this is also an unfinished neck, and to me it feels a little bit thicker um, than this than the uh, Ibanez neck. Uh, like I said, they I wish they had used the uh, um, the Viper neck profile, which they use on a couple guitars for Ibanez. On I wish they'd used that on this on this one, the P2, but I think they stopped at the P1. Um, but this is also unfinished, like I said, and the, the um, this is like gunstock oil, I think. The uh, Ibanez is, is, is finished, but it's a very, kind of like a satin finish. It has a very nice feel, just, just like most all Ibanez necks. Um, it'll probably gloss up with a lot of play, but this has very little play. And we have locking tuners on this bad boy right here. As a whole, they're pretty, they're, I'd say they're more similar than they are different, to be honest. The same, got the same controls, um, same pickup selector, you have the same volume and uh, tone placement. Um, bridges are different, they're, that's a pretty big difference in the guitars. Um, like I said, they're both floating, but we have the uh, proprietary Music Man bridge versus the uh, proprietary Ibanez Edge version of the Floyd Rose. This is the best incarnation of the Low Pro, or the Ibanez Edge, in my opinion. The best bridge Ibanez ever made. Um, we have very similar pickups. They're both direct mounted. Um, the uh, Music Man pickups seem a little bit hotter, to be honest. A little bit hotter. Um, both made by DiMarzio. Um, we have diff obviously different body stock, different body shapes, different finishes. Very obvious. Same kind of fretboard material. Both rosewood. Um, they both have uh, maple necks, both basswood bodies, so pretty similar. Um, so uh, overall, I'd say specs-wise, or just based on the specific spec specs, the uh, JP6 wins. It's a little more versatile. Um, you got the lock tuners with, without the lock nut. You got the actual nut on the guitar, which is great, as opposed to the lock nut, which is a pain. Um, I like that aspect of it. Um, but visually, I really prefer the JP6. This is a or the uh, JPM 100, the P2. This is a classic guitar. It's very iconic to me. Um, Playability-wise, it's kind of a toss-up. Um, we'll, we'll get into that in the, in the part two, um, which will take care of all the playing and stuff like that, and all the sounds. But um, they both play great. You can probably get a little bit lower action on this guy, but I don't like super low action anymore, so. It's a toss-up. I kind of prefer the playability of this, of the uh, JP100 with, I like the neck better on this guy. Um, so, without further ado, uh, check out part two for the playtest for the sounds. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. I got no